Web design is broken. <laughs> Web design is broken. My name is Aaron Taylor and I'm helping you to make better decisions and have better conversations when you're buying a website. Okay, I want to um, shine a light on something that I think is quite unique to my industry and something that I know that when we started 6-2 almost eight years ago now, um, we definitely took advantage of. Our industry is full of amateurs. It is full of rank amateurs with the lowest possible barrier to entry that you have ever come across. I mean, it is obscene. So I was given a talk uh, the other day called Web Design is Broken, here's how we fix it. And this is one of the points that I touched on. So in my talk, I said that um, it takes six, out, uh, six years, sorry, to become a lawyer. That's just, just to qualify as a lawyer, just to be able to practice law in the UK, it takes six years, three years in your degree, another year of like your legal practice course, two years um, where you're actually working for a law firm, actually like practicing law, but that's kind of like under their tutelage. What I said was that in, in, in web design, I think you could set up a legitimate web design business in six days. I think you can do it. I think you can learn Every, you can sign up for a Squarespace account. You can learn everything that you need to know about that. You can get your business cards printed and delivered. You can make your own site. Uh, you can make some portfolio pieces, get yourself indexed on Google, set up a virtual landline phone number and get everything in place that you need to start selling websites. That and a laptop. That's what we're confronted as with as an industry. now. I'm obviously not saying that we are all amateurs. I would definitely not consider myself or anyone on the team in 6.2 as amateurs. And actually I hang out with like other web design agencies, guys that I really respect that I, you know, I love the work that they do. They love the work that we do. We get together, we share knowledge, we share our experiences. Yeah, we're competitors. Yeah, we pitch up against each other. And yeah, sometimes, you know, we'll bump into each other and be like, oh, hey, I see you won the XYZ pitch. How did it go? Yeah, blah, 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 this, that, the other. It's all fine and dandy. But the problem is, is that with this low barrier to entry, we see market saturation. We see everyone pitching up and touting themselves as some kind of web designer. We see companies that have no interest, no space in web design going, oh yeah, we'll do websites as well because it's easy. Just because the tools are easy to use and widely accessible, I mean, paintbrushes are easy to come by, so are paints. It doesn't mean we're all artists all of a sudden. As a result, we've got uh, an industry of, of, of amateurs. We've got a whole bunch of amateurs trying to sell what we do. And because they're amateurs, they don't really, really understand the true value that their products and services bring to their customers. They really don't understand it. And so what happens is they, they, they just sell on price and they, they sell on feature. How many pages do you want? And what colors do you want it to be? And all of these things are just inconsequential by the by. You know, it's, it's, it's not ever gonna help you and your business get to where you wanna be. Another thing that happens because we're amateurs is that we don't spend enough time helping people understand what it is we do, how it can impact their business, what sorts of problems we can solve, why it might be appropriate for you, and why we might be the appropriate company for you. We've got a whole generation, a whole demographic of people, of businesses, of entrepreneurs that are trying to buy web design, but struggling and failing ultimately because they don't know the fundamental questions to ask and they don't know those questions because we haven't bothered giving those questions to you. So there we go. We've got a, a, an industry of amateurs and the people that are suffering as a result of it are 
you guys, the customers, our clients, our target audiences. These are, these are the people that are suffering. And, and this is why, this is why I'm making videos like this because I wanna shine a light on this and I wanna help you guys have better conversations and make better decisions when you're buying websites. Till next time.